<laughs> what is going on guys it is fatal reaper day before we continue guys be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as always and as you can see from the title and right here i did it guys i bought a scuff prestige controller and here it is so I did buy one, and you can customize them yourself. As you can see, it has Damascus camo from the Modern Warfare uh, multiplayer online camo that you can unlock after getting gold on all of them or platinum on all weapons. But this is it, guys. I finally bought one. So I've never actually owned one. I've owned like $20 cards from or $20 uh, controllers from Walmart and stuff like that. I've never actually played on a good, good controller. The, the best price I had one time was a $60 one, and it was still kind of in, and I'll show you that here in a minute. This is a little carrying case that it, you can put it in, holding case. It comes with an extra set of toggle switches and comes with gamer grip. So guys, this is my honest review on it. I'm going to be playing some game, uh, Modern Warfare, in it and be talking about it and how well it works. So, first thing you're going to notice, the two main difference, differences, one is being very light. Second of all, you have these things uh, back here called your, basically it's trigger control. So basically you can amp these up, you can switch them, or you can really custom any way you want. And that basically um, helps your trigger pull, so your trigger pull is not going to be as long. You can make it really short, uh, kind of in the mid-range, or you can make it as normal like normal controllers are. And of course they do have the back paddles too that you can uh, set for different buttons depending on what kind of game you're playing. I do have to say here is the next controller here. This is the controller I was playing on, the best one that I've had so far. It was about $60. It was, I think it was from the Xbox One X series or close to it. They had a lot of different series controllers in it. This was the one I was playing on and this is the scuff. I will say the scuff is really, really light. So a lot of people talk about it and it really is. And I have to say that helps with the gameplay. Uh, and playing on games it just so much it's just like you really never really thought about the weight until you really pick up these two and realize how much heavier the other one on the right is compared to the scuff and it's just it's just crazy and I do have to say the customization I didn't think it was going to look perfect like it would uh, you know when you look online and you're customizing it looks all cool but it does look very close to what I did and it's just it, it's incredible so guys, this is the gameplay. This is what I usually run when I'm training. <laughs> I call it training like I'm a professional. Not really, it's, but it's the kind of drills I run when I, before I play. So I haven't played in a few days, so it helps to kind of run some drills, you know, to get used to quick scoping and stuff like that again. So I did use the trigger control, where the trigger control was set to the what it comes with as a default, uh, being the shortest, I assume. And it was just crazy. It did take some getting used to, but it was crazy how much faster my reaction time was uh, compared to the old gameplay that I used to do on the old controller. That being said, also the paddles come in handy so much, so you may can switch the paddles, uh, different, you know, button layouts. Uh, for now, it is A and B, so crouch and uh, jump, and I have to say that helped out t t just more times than you would really think. I didn't really think about it. It was just kind of an impulse to do after I kind of get used to it. Now, it's probably going to take you a good five to ten minutes is what it took me to kind of get used to it, but once I got into it and got into the rhythm, it was incredible how much it actually changed my gameplay. Now, I know what you guys are thinking because these scuff controllers can run anywhere from 250 to I've seen some people spend $400 on them or more uh, depending on what customization like I got you know mine was about 220 200 even after shipping I did have a promo code to go with it, and there's a lot of people online that give away pro, uh, promo codes and stuff like that, uh, watching people's Twitches and their YouTube channels and so on and so forth. So I would definitely check into that. Let's get back into it. This is right here after I started the uh, after I did the gameplay. And guys, like I'm saying, I've not really seen any complaints with this. This is just uh, about a week after having it. I've not played with it very much. I've been trying to keep it in its box and holder. It comes with or a little case. I don't know why I said holder. Case is more of the you know, for that. But, uh, guys, that is my honest review on the Scuff Gaming Controller. I do have to say I'm very, very pleased so far. I'm very impressed. If you guys are looking to get one, I would definitely, definitely recommend them. There is an Elite Controller in the description below if you kind of want to see that. That's the closest thing they would have to it. They're selling for 300 though, on Amazon, so it's kind of a ridiculous price. So, really, you would actually be cheaper to get a Scuff Controller. But I highly recommend them, and I highly... Uh, this controller is amazing. Had no issues with it so far. I'll keep you guys updated in the comments and everything like that. And, again, Again, guys, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Thank you again for a 1,000 subscribers, and I'll see you in the next video.